Hi everyone, Minasan Konnichiwa. Thank you for making the time to join my presentation and uh, thank you to Jetro for hosting this presentation. The title of this talk is Revolutionizing Solar Deployment. Watashi no namae wa Eden Tihan desu. Yoroshiku I am one of 5B's two co founders and I'm currently our chief ecosystem officer. I know a small amount of Japanese because Kudomo no Toki ni Tokyo ni Sumimashita. And uh, if you ask me what sport I like in Japan, I would tell you Matashi no Ichiban Suki na Rikishi wa Hakubo desu. So I'd like to start by talking about the problem that we see in the solar industry. Despite rapid growth in solar installation, the current share of global electricity generated by solar is still only 2%. Basically, we're not transitioning to clean energy fast enough. If you look at these photos, you can start to understand why. You see, solar plants are still being built using methods that we at 5B would say are inefficient and slow. This stick build approach to solar was entirely appropriate five or 10 years ago when balance of system and construction costs only made up a minor percentage of project costs. This was of course due to modules costing three, four or five times as much as they do now. It simply didn't make sense back then to invest heavily in improvements to construction methodology. And as a result, the industry relied upon the constantly falling cost of modules to realize cost parity with other forms of generation. When modules cost 50% of a plant's capex bill, optimizing the plant's design to maximize the output of every single module makes perfect sense. This is the justification for spending precious capex dollars on trackers. But modules don't cost 50% of the plant anymore and every month they get cheaper and cheaper. Hini hini desho? So the need for trackers is falling away and it's being replaced by a need for a new approach, an approach that is appropriate for module prices of only 20 cents per watt, even 10 cents per watt. And an approach that can build solar farms very quickly to accelerate the global transition to renewables. Further to that, this new approach should leverage the best features of the underlying technology of the solar plant, the PV module. We love PV modules because they are elegantly simple, no moving parts, they're modular, mass produced in an extremely efficient factory, super cheap and getting cheaper every day. Why shouldn't the solar farms of the future be likewise elegantly simple, modular, mass produced in an extremely efficient factory. The solution to this problem is to apply productization, standardization and automation. These are the elements that created a thriving PV module industry. Apply these elements to a paradigm shift from old school construction of a project, project by project, to a new way of doing things with mass factory produced, factory based production and rapid deployment of a product. This paradigm shift enables three things. Firstly, design a simpler, prefabricated, standardized and engineered design. Secondly, a much smarter and more efficient supply chain where the focus is shifted from a highly variable and risky field environment to a factory environment, which is inherently efficient lower cost, highly scalable, it results in better quality and enables risk to be appropriately mitigated. Thirdly, faster on-site deployment and integration by leveraging factory-based speed, efficiency and scale. In short, this paradigm shift is about taking time, cost and risk from the field, which is a terrible place to manage these things, to a factory environment which is a fantastic place to manage these things. This solution presents the simplest, smartest, fastest, and ultimately the lowest cost approach to deploy a solar farm. At 5B, we've developed our flagship Maverick product that does all of these things. 
So how do we do it? Firstly, we prefabricate a MAV block of between 40 and 90 panels in a factory and pack it into a container. These containers are then shipped to site, deployment ready, with very high shipping density. Shipping density that is very similar to shipping PV modules on their own. A team of only three people in a forklift are then able to deploy the Maverick rapidly at a rate of about one megawatt per week using 80% less labor on site. This enables three times faster project deployment end to end. Hontoni Hayai. Moreover, because we do not have a requirement for significant trenching or piling, we dramatically reduce geotech risk on site and simplify site prep requirements. All of the wiring is done in the factory, so the electrician on site has a very simple job of simply connecting the string cabling to the inverters. We also deploy our panels east-west to enable the highest possible ground coverage ratio. This means we generate one and a half to two times more energy from the same amount of land versus conventional fixed tilt or single axis tracking solutions. Furthermore, the Maverick solution is zero waste, no plastic, no cardboard. We deal with all of this in the factory instead and all the materials that come to site stay on site. The Mavs are ready, readily integrated into complete solar farm solutions that produce energy sooner. All of this results in a lower cost of energy which is the true test of how good a solution is. And on top of all of this, the solution is also readily 100% redeployable. So it can be packed up and redeployed at a new site if it's no longer needed. Here you can see the speed of deployment in action in our project at South Australia, where we deployed 2.1 megawatts of our Maverick solution for AGL who are engaged by Santos. We deployed this project with a team of three people in just 21 days. We recently beat this speed record in Panama in Central America, deploying two megawatts with a team of five in just 10 days. Here you can see a neat example of what the Maverick solution enables. This is a one megawatt plant that is being leased on a short term five year contract to a mining operation. I'm not familiar enough with the Japanese market yet to know if this is a special case or not, but certainly in our home market of Australia, a typical solar PPA is 25 or 20 years, maybe as little as 15 years. That's because the asset is fixed to the ground and it needs to generate enough revenue to pay for itself whilst it's there. Because a Maverick array is completely 100% redeployable, it enables short-term lease periods of only five years. If the lease isn't renewed at the end of this period, no problem, Monday night, the asset is simply relocated to another site and redeployed. In this case, the customer is enjoying a 40% reduction to their energy costs versus their existing diesel operations. So we can assume that as long as the mining operation continues, the lease will be extended. 5B is growing rapidly through partnership and powerful collaboration with a growing ecosystem of partners. These partners are technology partners who integrate into our system. You can see that within our technology partners, we count a number of the top tier PV module manufacturers. Supply chain partners who assemble our MAV blocks in factories and kits and bring manufacturing expertise to complement our technology innovation deployment partners who roll out the MAVs in the field and delivery or value-added reseller partners who use the Maverick solution to deliver their projects simpler, faster, smarter, and ultimately at lower cost. We believe the Maverick technology is uniquely suited to Japan's environment, given the energy density and highly automated deployment process which reduces on-site labor. We're very excited to be planning for our entry into the Japanese market in 2022. We're inspired by your country's ambition to decarbonize the economy and invest in the renewable future. You can follow our activities on our website and social media, and I've shared my email address here too.
どうぞお気軽にメールしてください。皆さん、こんにちは。ありがとうございました。2022年に日本でお会いできることを楽しみにしています。Thank you.